Hi, this is Chris Beal. I'm here to show you how to make a Google custom search engine. And the reason we make Google custom search engines is because they are safe, they are relevant in their results, and they're fast. It's very simple to do. Just go to your Google homepage, and first what you need to do is sign in. And the sign in is right up here. You'll need a Google account to sign in, and your Google account identifier is your email address, which is normally some name at gmail.com. If you don't have an account, what you need to do is click right here to create it. Anyone can make a Google account, and it's very easy. It takes about one or two minutes. Just enter your current email address, choose a password, make sure the password is right by putting it in again. Check remember me on this computer if this is a private computer. Don't do it on a computer at school that other people can get at. And then you can choose whether you want to enable web history, keep track of everything that's been searched. Location is simple. This is called a CAPTCHA. It's to make sure that other programs are not doing this, that it's a human being. And then you have to agree to the terms of service. And if you want to read them, read them right there and their privacy policy. And click there and you're done. So with Google account in hand, go ahead and sign in. And then enter in your browser www.google.com slash co-op slash CSE for custom search engine. Make it a little bit bigger so you can see it there. That should bring you to the Google custom search engine creation page. And it will ask you to sign in again right over here. And it tells you a little something about Google Custom Search Engines. As it says here, a Google Custom Search Engine lets you include one website or multiple websites. So if you just want to search one or, or a few websites, this is the tool. And then you can host the search box and the results on your own website. You can also host them on your blog and customize the colors and the branding to match your existing web pages. So you'll need to go ahead and sign in again, same way you did before. And now you're ready to create your custom search engine. So your search engine needs a name, it needs a description, it needs some keywords to help tune the results, it needs to know what language you're doing the search in, and it needs to know are you going to go Search only the sites that you select, or the entire web, but emphasize those sites, or the entire web. So my search engine is going to be called the clipboard search engine. And all it's going to do is look for terms that are about clipboard and clip media. And its purpose, which I show in the description, is to find clippets wherever they may be. And I'm going to set its keywords for emphasis to all of these words about clippets and clip media. The language I want to search in is English. And I've decided to search the entire web. Normally for teaching you want to search only the sites that you select. Final step is to read and agree to the terms of service and press Next. And now I can test out my custom search engine. And given the terms I was using, the simplest thing to do is to type clipboard for me and see what comes up. Looks pretty good. And now I'm ready to put this custom search engine up on my search engines page. And all I have to do is click Finish. And by default, it'll send me a confirmation email. That takes me to my custom search engine page right here. 
and shows me my search engines. So there's my clipboard search engine. And if I click on Home Page, it takes me right here. Clipboard search engine, and I'm on its home page, and I'm ready to search. Now a very good thing to do at this point is to edit your profile so that folks know who the creator of this search engine was. And if they have any questions about it, they can get a hold of you. So I've clicked Edit My Profile, and I put in my name, my nickname, Clipper, my site URL, clipmedia.com, where I am, what I'm up to, just an old software guy trying to make a difference. And it's nice to put an image in there. My image here represents something from my childhood. I grew up in the desert among the coyotes. And it's as easy as that. You get a custom search engine that gives you relevant results, safely searches only the sites you want, and is really going to help you teach. Hope this works for you.